All right, so welcome back. So, so far this class has kind of focused more on the electrical side of, of mechatronics, right? So we've been learning about transistors and resistors and motors and all that fun stuff. Um, now we're gonna kind of switch more into the programming side uh, of the course. We're gonna spend a lot of time on the programming side of the class. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be programming our uh, little boards. Uh, so hopefully you've got your little board with you for this video lecture series, you're, you're gonna need it. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing some code on the computer, um, downloading it to the chip, uh, and then showing that it runs. Uh, just as a heads up, what you're going to have to show for the quiz tomorrow, so make sure you get all the way through this unit, is that if you take your little board uh, and you plug in power, it should bring the LEDs up from the bottom um, and then toggle them back and forth. Um, there might be some slight variations in how we do up then toggle, but, but basically that's the program. And if you hit reset, which is this top button here, um, it should also do the, the up then toggle program. That's where we're going. Where are we going to start? Um, so we got to start by installing the tools for this. So we're going to use two tools in this class. One is called MPLAB X. That's like the program that you see, uh, that you edit code in, that you click buttons on and it downloads it to the device. We're also going to use uh, something called um, C18. So we're going to be installing uh, MPLAB X first, it's like the main program we're using, and then the specific compiler we're using is called the C18 compiler. So we've got to go download both of these things. So what I want you to do is I want you to uh, open up a, a new tab and just go to those links, right? So dub 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 uh, microchip, we'll do the MPLAB X uh, first. Uh, the slash MPLAB X will just forward to some other location, so it's not really the, the link, but it'll send you to wherever it wants you to go. Um, you can read all about MPLAB X if you want, but the thing that we care about is downloads, right? So make sure you click on the downloads area. The version that you see, they continually update this thing. The version I'm about to download is uh, 2.20. Uh, that just happens to be you know what it is today, um, but your version will be different. For now, I'm just going to save this into my downloads folder. Uh, that seems like as good a place as any. Um, and I'm going to kick off that download. Uh, it'll it'll take a while, right? So it's a, a good size file. Uh, looks like it's 400 megs. <laughs> take a while. I guess actually there's no reason to wait for it to finish. We can start the other guy up. Uh, you can just open up a new tab, uh, hopefully in Chrome, right? You're all Chrome users. Um, and go to the second link, uh, which is microtrip.com. You can actually just click on it above the video. Um, slash C18. So this is going to be the compiler that we use. So our compiler, you won't see it, it's going to kind of work behind the scenes. Uh, but if you scroll down towards the bottom of this page, uh, you can see that there's uh, a couple different versions of the same compiler. So there's the release notes, that's nothing useful. Upgrade, which is nothing useful. Um, and then there's either the light mode or the standard eval version. Turns out either of these will work fine for what we're doing in this class, so, so you can pick. I'm going to choose the standard eval version. What it does is it, it gives you the full features for 60 days, um, and then it reverts into light mode. Um, the only difference is the how uh, well compressed your code is um, will be different in the two modes. Doesn't matter for what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click standard eval version. Uh, that sounds great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick it uh, just into my downloads folder as well. It doesn't really matter where you put them because once you run that EXE, it's going to ask you where would you like to install this thing at. So they're chugging away and they're doing their thing. So it looks like one of them finished up. Um, I do like to do the MPLAB X first. I bet you could do either order, but uh, this is the order that I choose to do them in. So I'm going to go ahead and run this one. Uh, it's just an executable uh, and it's going to install the MPLAB X program for me. And then, I mean, setup wizards, I don't need to show you every step of the setup wizard, right? Like, you could go through and you could do these things. I do recommend that you leave the defaults alone. Uh, you just let it put it wherever it wants to put it. As far as the IDE and the IPE, um, I think we only need the IDE, but I just leave them both checked because I know it, it's fine. Um, and so now it's uh, ready to begin installation, and you wait. All right, once that finishes uh, installing, there's actually one important step. It says that, uh, would you like to go get the compilers for it? And we're going to make sure we uncheck that box because we've already got our compiler we're using. So unchecking that box is the main thing that I'm making this video for, right? Uh, once you've done that, then go install the compiler. Uh, you can open it up from Chrome or uh, you can always just run it from the downloads folder. So there was this guy, uh, the MPLAB C18. Uh, hopefully it'll be a, a shorter install. 
again, if you get permissions, you know, make sure just to say yes to the permissions. Uh, so the install for him will be will be just uh, the same stuff. So you're going to accept permissions. Uh, I do recommend that you let it use the default uh, installation directories. Uh, that'll just make your life easier. Um, and then you just sit and wait. Uh, great, and it looks like that has now finished for me as well. Uh, so I've got the tools installed. Uh, we'll we'll kind of show what's going on in the next video, but one thing you should see is uh, it's off screen. So you should have had this icon added to your desktop, um, and you're going to be opening this up technically in the next video um, and seeing if all the important pieces are there. All right, see you next time. Bye.